Yamma everyone and um, hope you're keeping well and keeping safe. I'm here at Cracknack Point so I'd like to say Yamma and welcome here to I guess one of the oldest Aboriginal sites um, on the central coast. I'm right on the coastline here at Baddo Bay and um, as you can see this these artifacts that I've got here in front of me um, that I've picked up in this place. It's a place where our people regularly um, ventured to this place. Um, it, we call it a, I guess, a natural quarry and where you find these types of stone, which is a granite stone that we find here. You can see here where this stone has been worked, where different um, flakes and flints have been napped off um, the stone. Um, naturally to make spearheads, um, knives, chisels um, and also um, cutters as such and Aboriginal people would trade different types of stone like chert, um, granite, mudstone, um, all different types of uh, grading of stones. They would uh, trade to, um, you know, mostly to make axe heads and, and uh, spear shafts as such like that. And um, here you've got millions of um, these types of stones and they're all shaped in different way as you can see. Uh, some are flat, nice rounded edges. These are the types of stones that our local people use to um, do their grinding or engravings as such on the tops of the ridge lines. Um, it made it easier to join the indentations that were made into the soft sandstone and then these were just, um, because of the round thin edges, where it made the perfect um, groove as such um, into the sandstone itself. And these were the types of stones they would use as a napping stone. It fits in your hand really well. And naturally you would hold the other rock and, and, and nap the rock on different edges to get different types of flakes and that edges off the stone itself. Um, we also have a midden site here. A midden is um, discarded shells that our people have collected and eaten at certain areas and places. This is a huge midden site here at Bado Bay, just off Cracknack Point. And these are the types of shells um, that we find here in the midden, like the cockle shells and the pippies, and um, especially these cocky cockles as such, where there's a lot of rock area here um, on the wave breaks, and um, you'll find these beautiful big cockle shells. This shell here is then shaped into particular shapes which are used by Aboriginal people as tools. So they would grab the cockle shell as such, like this, and break the outside of it away, and it would end up with a singular curl in the, the middle. And this would be splayed on the edge with a nice blade. And so this blade would come out over your finger, but you can see how perfectly your fingers would fit and your thumb against that. This is what Aboriginal people made this tool to actually um, take scales off the fish and to gut the fish and also use as cutting in implements. And so it was very cleverly uh, made um, from the shell, this tool. Women made fish hooks. Um, now and again, we do find perfectly good examples of fish hooks made from uh, pippies and cockle shells and they're binded on the edge and use them weights um, and so they can fish. And all these little tiny shells we see here with beautiful colours um, on the tops and the periwinkles. And these were collected by Aboriginal people. They were eaten by Aboriginal people in um, big quantities. But also these are perfectly, with, especially with the beautiful colours, to make into jewellery. And naturally that was a traditional practice in regards to um, traditional jewellery, especially for ceremony and um, where people would decorate their body as such with natural ochres as we've got here. And this is just a, a yellow ochre uh, stone that we found here and just grind it against a nice flat grinding stone. Um, we have found perfect grinding stones here. Um, with actually axe grinding grooves in the middle. So people carried these types of stone with them. Um, I know they'd be very heavy, but um, they were perfect to keep at the camp or something and to work on your tools and instruments. 
as you can see it's a really nice um, deep rich yellow color um, from the stones and you've got yellows whites and reds um, that were collected and used here so plates like this and these beautiful stones were used too by the women as grinding stones so they can grind their actual seeds um, down into flour to make bread so it's a perfect place um, here at Crackneck Point um, at the ancient quarry here too which was um, you know traditionally an old volcanic um, area here an old volcano has caused this um, natural granite to come out of the out of the earth onto the right onto the beach onto the coastline and there's probably only a couple of places like this on the coastline on the central coast in um, Nora Head um, or Pebble Beach as they call it um, Pebbly and here um, at Crackneck Point where you find these types of stones or these natural granite stones um, very lucky to have these type of stones here in country